Hello, my name is Erica, and in this class, we're going to talk about the importance of a healthy diet during pregnancy uh, and foods you should eat and foods you should avoid. Uh, before we start, I want uh, to make sure you know that the uh, statement pregnant women can eat whatever they want because they eat for two uh, is not um, really accurate. Um, that statement is partially true, but you do not double, for instance, your calorie intake when pregnant, even though it is known that pregnant women uh, need more calories, uh, certain vitamins and uh, minerals. The studies have shown that your diet um, during pregnancy can affect your baby's uh, future health. So uh, what are you going to do in order to have a healthy baby? Very simple. You're going to eat foods that benefit you and the baby, and you are going to avoid foods that can affect your baby's health. Uh, so let's uh, begin with uh, things that uh, you should avoid. Number one is alcohol. Um Wine, beer, brandy, whiskey, you name it, any bottle of, uh, with a percentage of alcohol on the label, uh, you cannot have. Alcohol consumption uh, during pregnancy might cause fetal alcohol syndrome to your baby. This, uh, this syndrome is very serious because it can cause physical abnormalities, learning disabilities, and behavioral problems. So keep that in mind. There is no safe time period that you can drink alcohol. Number two, drugs. Avoid any drug use. If you are addicted to any illegal drug, talk to your doctor, seek for help so you can quit. Uh, there is resources for you out there. Number three, prescribed uh, drugs that can affect your baby such as uh, seizure medication. So if you are taking daily prescription medications, uh, you have to talk to your doctor uh, and um, ask uh, if they are safe for your baby. Your doctor will let you know if you can keep taking your meds or if he, there is uh, something else uh, you need to take as an alternative. Uh, oh, do not eat raw fish. Let's uh, move to foods you should eat. Uh, number one, foods that are uh, rich in folic acid, uh, also known as folate or vitamin uh, B9. Uh, good sources of folate uh, include dark green, leafy vegetables, uh, such as uh, spinach, broccoli, and asparagus. Uh, folic acid is known to prevent neural tooth defects in babies. The neural tube forms uh, the early brain and spine. That's why it's very important for pregnant women to get enough uh, folic acid. Prenatal vitamins uh, contain folic acid, so consider getting some over the counter. Uh, let's continue with whole grains. You should replace your uh, carbohydrates uh, simple carbohydrates to complex carbohydrates, uh, which are uh, whole grains. For instance, you can replace uh, white rice with brown rice. Uh, and also you can replace white bread with whole wheat bread, oatmeal is a good source of carbohydrates. 
The benefits from consuming uh, whole grains is that um, they don't break down as quickly into sugars, so you don't have spikes in your blood sugars after you're eating them. Uh, therefore, you'll have less chance of developing uh, gestational diabetes. Uh, daily. You can eat dairy, dairy, you can eat dairy, um, use a yogurt, uh, whole fruits are a good source of uh, vitamins and minerals, oranges and lemons are rich in vitamin C. Uh, iron uh, rich fruits uh, such as raisins and dates are recommended because a certain amount of blood loss is expected after delivery. Uh, whether you undergo a C-section or a normal delivery, uh, iron is an important component of blood production. So consider... Um, having iron-rich foods uh, during pregnancy. Protein. You can get protein from meats and it is recommended to have meat with less fat such as chicken breasts uh, without skin, pork chops uh, without fat. You can also get uh, protein uh, from peas um what else uh nuts nuts uh soy products and beans if you are a vegetarian now let's talk about foods you should be eating less uh, try to avoid eating fish uh with high mercury levels such as tuna uh, or a uh, swordfish. Mercury, mercury is known to cause birth defects. Um, let's go to uh, sugary foods such as ice cream, uh, cake, chocolate or um, sugary um, foods. Uh, you can still have them, but uh, not every day. Uh, lastly, um, saturated fats, um, sausage, uh, bacon, um, butter. They are saturated fats uh, and they might raise uh, the bad cholesterol in your blood and lower the good cholesterol. Uh, high cholesterol is associated with heart disease and high cholesterol, so try not to abuse saturated fats. Already, uh, class is over. I hope you learned something. Thank you.